Hello, this is Omnifreaker. I, I was going to be going over some of the sweet new features in the Ubersoft Light Kit um, that is newly available. Um, and I'll be hitting, just kind of going over how to use it as it is a kit. It involves a few different things that work together, uh, but hopefully should feel fairly intuitive or at least familiar if, you, if you're already using things like the Uber environment light or um, some of my other lights that I have available. Uh, so let's just uh, get into it. So when you install it, you'll see the Ubersoft light kit under lights in your content folder. And here you'll see a number of little icons. Uh, Maybe first one to see is the documentation here, in case uh, you need to go back to it or get lost a little bit. This will be updated and um, kind of the 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 web reference um, and written reference for the the kit, and that's available from here. And then there there's a few other things in here. Uh, as it's a kit, it's mainly comprised of two light shaders that work together. Uh, the, 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 the master or the primary shader is this Ubersoft master. And you really have to have this in your scene for, for it to work. Uh, the Ubersoft master controls all your shadows and everything. Uh, here, I'll just add one here into the scene. By double clicking, I select it. Uh, as you look at the parameters here, uh, it's the master serves as your uh, skylight and kind of your master ambient light, and it also has your ma all your shadowing controls, which will feel f fairly similar to Uber environment and those kind of things. In that it is. The, shade, the shadows are ray trace based, kind of occlusion based, uh, but I have some new kind of interest way, interesting ways of doing things. So I've added this one, and just kind of straight out of the gate, I can I can do a render here, and well, that's already in my buffer, but you'll see. Uh, just out of the gate is using low settings uh, and as you look over here on the parameters it's got I have some uh, sky color set up so there's under the sky uh, the zenith or top of the sky is white and then it just kind of blends to black from horizon colors gray and so that's what you're um, seeing in uh, this image here. It's kind of lighter on top. And that's just kind of the default as you get it. And so these controls s give you controls over what the sky looks like, or kind of your virtual sky, if you will. So if I want more of a sunset kind of situation, I can change these colors. like so and then just give it another render and you'll see now the the sky is kind of orangish color uh, but the sky is in uh, the same space as this light meaning if I rotate this light the sky will be kind of will be will be then coming from that that direction so you can con control kind of where your 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 sky your sky is uh, that way and kind of use it as it's a skylight but you can really use it as basically a really soft box kind of light or area light almost as as you're able to spin it around uh, and then the shadows, uh, there's some really interesting shadow controls. 
uh, by default it's they're non-directional meaning it's kind of like ambient occlusion it's coming from everywhere uh, it's just kind of s soft everywhere but I, I can crank this and and then you'll 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 see that the shadows are are more directional um, in nature and this I'm gonna bump up this shadow quality so you can see this better but I'm I'm actually also using a render throttle my render throttle product uh, just so I can jump between different settings really quickly but hopefully that won't confuse you too much uh, but you can also get those same kind of settings by going under the the content and and you'll see it is I mean it's ray tracing so it's perhaps not the fastest thing um, but it gives you nice results so this becomes more directional um, and we'll see that even more as we add the other lights and the light kit to the scene uh, and then occlusion softness if I if I go and these are all sliders I can make these make the shadows less soft uh, I would give you a little warn word of warning of going too hard uh, this is a kind of a kit designed for soft kind of realistic lighting uh, so you'll probably get better results more towards the <laughs> the right side of this dial but um, to illustrate so these shadows are becoming harder and harder so you can get more dramatic effects doing going that direction okay and there's also some other controls that are you'll see elsewhere uh, like in uber environment 2 indirect lighting you can turn on and so that's that's global illumination bounce light and the and the intensity of it and then the advanced are a lot of kind of quality and speed controls uh, like I mentioned before, in here, like with the uh, my other lights that I mentioned, you have quality settings. So you can, with the light selected, just double quick click on these to change the settings, and you'll see them change over here as I double click on these. Uh, or, like I say, you can use render throttle to dynamically do that. Uh, so that's. Uh, Oh, one other thing with the the sky controls, uh, you can also change the horizon height. So if you want, this will kind of pull the the horizon of the sky down. Is basically what this is doing, make, so giving you more sky and wrapping that light more around the figure here so you'll see it the, the yellow wraps quite a bit around and now giving you a giving you a nice soft light wrapping around the figure there alright so those are the main kind of master light controls I'll next I'll go over uh, the the other lights